I've seen a lot of crappy storylines from WWE over the years. A lot of crappy ones. And you guys have too. And sometimes it's hard to differentiate between the crap and the creme de la crap. But I'm going to tell you this much right now. I cannot remember the last time I saw a feud that was as bad as Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor. Even, even, even the Bray bots and the Finn tards have to agree at this point. Ideally, when you put together a program between two guys, you at least, if nothing else, want one of the guys to get better for it and get more over because of it. But in an ideal world, you want to create something interesting and compelling that ultimately both guys are better off for having been a part of. And of course, this particular feud at no point in time measures up to any of that whatsoever. We start off with Bray going after Finn Balor for the fuck all of it to where we're building up to a match at a SummerSlam only to not have the first match be at SummerSlam because, of course, we've got a hot shot the shit beforehand because why watch the crap on the network when you can get it before or after on TV to where Bray Wyatt wins and then we sit there and have Finn Balor win the shit back at SummerSlam because, of course, we've got to do 50-50 booking. We've got Bray Wyatt dumping paint on Finn Balor so that way Finn Balor has an excuse to dress up as the damn demon at SummerSlam and all this other crap. And then when we get to that point where now we've got Bray Wyatt trying to wipe the paint off of Goldust and we're literally arguing over face paint like this shit matters to where after years of waiting, we finally get the revelation of who Sister Abigail is and apparently it's stupid freaking Bray Wyatt dressed up like a fucking woman in the face. To which Finn Balor's answer, of course, logically, is to come back and be the demon again, but this time be Darth Pumpkin. Like, how how is either one of these guys ever, and I mean ever, going to recover from this? This is the type of soul-sucking, career-ending storyline... That ruins people. Like, who in WWE constructed this, put this together, and thought this was a good idea? Who in WWE said, hey, you know how we do something different with Finn Balor? Let's get him face paint like Darth fucking Pumpkin. And let's give him a live mic every week because, oh, that's one of his major strengths. (laughs) How are we going to get something different out of Bray Wyatt? Oh, I don't know. Hell, he should be fucking Sister Abigail. You're right. Sister Abigail versus Darth Pumpkin at TLC. Bucket bitches. This shit still goes on. And every time you think it's reached its lowest point, they go lower. And to now where we are still continuing a feud about magical demons that don't really exist where every time you hear Finn Balor talking about unleashing his demon, you think he's trying to hit on Bray Wyatt. And at this point in time, that would be the only way this story could potentially be saved because it would be the most believable thing that Finn Balor's done in a long time and the most interesting thing. Talking about unleashing his demon by that, I mean, of course, his penis. Because there's nothing else that is compelling or interesting about this story whatsoever. The WWE has taken a guy in Finn Balor that a lot of people look to as potentially being that heir apparent to the CM Punk Daniel Bryan type of guy and completely ruined him. Now, he wasn't that level of talent to begin with. I don't think he was. You're clowning if you do. But there was that opportunity there and they have destroyed him. And then you take Bray Wyatt where you had the clear opportunity to plug him into that Undertaker Kane type of void and be that type of character, and you now have completely ruined him to where you thought it was a good idea at a pay-per-view to have him dress as a woman and wrestle as a woman. After years of talking about Sister Abigail, this is what Sister Abigail is. And I understand with wrestling sometimes, it's stupid, it's nonsensical, it's not logical. But typically when you do that, it means it's at least good if it works. You could do stupid. You could do Mae Young giving birth to a hand if you make the shit fun, if you make the shit entertaining, you make it funny, you do all these different things of which they have done none of this crap with Bray Wyatt and Finn Balor. 
Like, every week they come on for a segment of Raw, I can only imagine the thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people that groan on their chair and then think about, I got to go walk the dog, I want to go outside and smoke, I want to go take a big break crap. And this is the type of crap that if you were trying to get somebody into watching wrestling, they see this and they say, this is the stupidest shit ever. I'll never watch professional wrestling again. All these years of defending wrestling and everything else and defending the WWE and other wrestling companies to people that aren't wrestling fans. It's this shit right here, if anything, that makes me embarrassed to be a wrestling fan. Because I'm associated with this hot garbage. I'm associated with somebody, some idiot, some moron with decision-making abilities, meaning Vince McMahon and solely Vince McMahon, thinking this is the direction we need to go with Finn Balor. We need him to be the great pumpkin Finn Balor. We need him to be Darth fucking Pumpkin after he's already been the demon once. Going up against Sister Bray. Do any of you look at this at this point? And really wonder why you're still watching? Do any of you think about this and say, if I haven't been watching wrestling for years and hadn't been watching WWE for years, that if I turned on WWE and saw this crap, it would be the first and only time I ever watched their programming. You have now gotten to a point where the WWE doesn't care about these guys and they don't care about you. They're not only insulting your intelligence, they've gone to a whole different level. They're just insulting you as fans doesn't matter to them how bad it is because they think you're going to keep coming back. And even at some point in time, that crap's only going to work for so long. When I think about all the great things I've seen in professional wrestling over the years from WWE and from other companies throughout the world, I think about those and I'm like, man, those are great times. Those are great memories. That's why I love professional wrestling still to this day. And that's why I've been a fan all these years. That's why I'm still a fan. And then I see this hot garbage. And I say, in response to somebody like Old Dust, if these two fucksticks and who they are and what they've become are the future of the WWE, then what does that say about the future And for a lot of us that still watch for whatever reason, what does that say about the future of us watching this crap anymore?